My name is Jovan Alexander Jimenez. I'm 10 years old and I play quarterback. What is your favorite subject in school and why? Well, this is an easy question. My favorite subject in school is easily math class. Why? Because I'm very good at math and for multiplication it's really easy for me. Why do you want to do when you grow up and why? I want to be a physical therapist and I also want to be a math teacher because I feel like I can help those people that were injured because my uncle did that with me when I was also injured. And because I want to be a math teacher, I can help people learn more things about school and I help them succeed in life. Why do you like the quarterback position? I actually don't like the quarterback position. I love the quarterback position because I can show my talents, I love to throw the ball, and I can also be the leader on my team. Who are your favorite NFL quarterbacks? My NFL quarterbacks that are my favorite are easily Patrick Mahomes and Anthony Richardson. Because Patrick Mahomes can throw the ball really far deep down the field, and Anthony can also do that, but he can also make plays with his legs and get the first down. Any other reason why Anthony Richardson? And he also played for the Florida Gators. Uh, what is your favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse right now is Proverbs 3.5.6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, never lean on your own understandings. She will acknowledge Him in all your ways. He will make your path straight. What does that mean to you? It means that I always have to follow God even if I'm discouraged or down. Who are your favorite NFL receivers? My favorite NFL receivers right now might be Tyreek Hill. And I'd have to say Stephon Diggs. Who are your favorite youth receivers? Well, first up, I have to say Dre because he could really catch those deep passes and he'd get up there. Another one of my favorite receivers right now is Sway because he's a great route runner and he can catch those sideline catches. And one of my other favorite receivers is Tucker because he reminds me of NFL receiver Cooper Cup. And my other favorite receiver is MJ because he is also a great route runner, but he can also catch those high passes when there's many people around. Another one of my favorite receivers is probably Desmond Williams because he's probably the one that I've known the longest. And another one of my favorite receivers is Speedy Hartsfield because he's really fast and if he catches that ball, he's gonna score every time. Another one of my favorite receivers is King because he can't just make plays on offense. He can make plays on offense and defense. Alexander, make sure you're watching the game for for tomorrow. Like this one? No, we play. Yes. Just just watch what the defense is doing. Is that ten you? Uh, Looks like it. That's the stadium where we play that. I know that. What colors are you guys wearing tomorrow? All purple. I need you to go get your uniform, your cleats, and have all that ready down here so in the morning you're ready to go. It's a pretty thick cast. Yeah, he did a good job. I guess he knew. Because <laughs> that cast did not slow him down not one bit. Oh, you're not going to jump. You're just going to kind of go up and down.
You too. How are you guys? Doing great. <laughs> Sorry. Doing we're good. We're good. We are in full camp planning mode right now. So we're excited to add this one to our plate. Let's go. I was I was telling Bianca that um we have the paperwork ready for the park and they're only charging us thirty dollars for the day. That's <laughs> a blessing in itself. It is. You can't beat that. It's volumes to who you are and your family, so that's really exciting. Thank you. So um I I guess once we submit that we We'll have the date, and we can put it in second gear. Perfect. We'll be ready. Awesome. Anything that we need to do now? Now is just securing the date, and then we'll be able to go next steps, which will be sponsors who will help promote the camp, um, and then we'll just get more details in place of the coaches that we'll want to have on hand and the extra special guests, and also identifying uh, the individual that you'd like to, and the group that you would like to donate to. Um, that's really our next steps moving forward, but really it's just securing the date and moving on from there. Okay, awesome. So Alexander, your season, as it ended, I see that you made it to uh, the next level, right? Yes, sir. You, uh, what was that called? I saw you playing in, you were like, like in a green uniform? Yeah, I was um, playing in the r, &R Top 100 and Super Showcase. Okay. How was that? In the first half, we started up to a 14-0 lead, but in the second half, it got kind of rough, and the team um, beat us 16-14. Dang, that was a close game. Yes, sir. That's what's up. So how do you feel like you played? I feel like I pretty, I felt like I played pretty good, but some of our teammates could have made better plays. But I know if I go back next year, I'm going to win. You're going to win it, huh? That's the attitude you got to carry, man. Yes, sir. I tell you what, I watched you pretty much all season, whether I was at the game or watching by um. By phone, man, you, you tore it up this season. I'm Thank super proud of you. Thank you. I want you to continue to work because that's one thing that I noticed about you. You don't just post videos of you playing games and, and scoring touchdowns. You, you post videos of you actually working and engaging with your coaches. I see where you're sitting now, you're studying in, in the study room. Uh, even over the, over the phone, man, I see you studying with your coaches and stuff like that. So. Just make sure you continue to do those things that, that built you. You know, don't ever get too big for where you are and for who you are. Stay level. Don't allow social media to discourage you because the same way it can encourage you, it can definitely discourage you yes, because sir. you're looking so much at what people are saying and who like what I'm doing and I didn't get as many likes as I should have. Don't let that stuff control you. Yes, you know, you're a great player and you're an even greater kid. So make sure that that's what shines and that's what what's leading you and motivating you each and every day is what you've learned and what your parents have instilled into you of of God. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So I know you I know your grandparents are happy. I know your dad is proud. And I just want you to know it. we're proud of you. Thank you. All right. Yes, sir. Keep grinding, bro. So, um, a little bit more about um the bowl game. So you, you gave me kind of vaguely what was going on. So what really what really transpired? Tell me some of the in-depth stuff that you you want to change for next season. Well, 
since this um this next upcoming season, I th I'm gonna have a lot more good receivers. So I think one thing I should work on, if I know that they're gonna get it, I could really put it out there this season. Mm. Cause I feel like last year I kind of um most of my receivers did go up and get it, but some of them I was kind of. I was kind of throwing it behind, so that's one thing I got to work on this year. For somebody to be your age, man, what you're doing is incredible. You know, just to have the mindset that you have to inspire others that's your age. And your, your dad was even telling me that you may not even be involved in playing in the camp. You're more focused on inspiring the youth that's coming out to the camp. That's what's up, dude. So what are we doing? You want to keep the top? Well, I want <laughs> um, like make it short. Make it short? Not too short. Okay. So you feeling something new, huh? I got you. Like that one time you made it short. Okay. Mom short or or dad short? We actually had a really good season, regular season. Um, they went 14 and two. They won the Super Bowl champs, the 10U D1 um, Super Bowl champs. And then we went off to YNC National Championship for battle, where they actually went all the way to the semifinals against a very good team from Georgia. And he had a great, um, great performance, um, passing the ball, and we almost beat that team from Georgia. So now we're in off season, working on speed, strength, and um, getting ready to start the 707 cycle. So we were not able to go to Orlando and train with Coach Balin, but we can train here in Ocala with Coach Alex. Uh, he's been coaching him for the past two years as well when we cannot make it to Orlando. So it's great to have um, both a coach in Orlando and Ocala to continue that training. So we're just going over some mechanic stuff right now, some footwork, and, um, yeah, just getting better in the off season. And then um, tomorrow we start our strength, lower body training and speed. So we took off about maybe five weeks, no football, no throwing, um, no flag this year, just off season, some 707 tournaments and um, just getting ready for uh, our 11U season which is going to be very, very exciting. Punch. One, two, three. Nice. All right. I'm going to go a little deeper. Punch. One, two, three. Hit your reset, right? You're checking off your first, your first read, and we're going to our second, right? And what do we do on our second? After our reset, right? He's not there. What do we do? We're climbing up in the pocket, yeah. right? So that's where our hitch step comes into play, right? Punch, one, two, three, reset. He's not there, climb up, hit the next one, right? Let me go a little deeper on these. All right, show. Right here, over the middle. Climb up, nice. Is this, is this deep enough to, to float that, or can you put that on me? Uh, I, know, I know you can throw that. <laughs> let's, let's put that on a row, right? Show off that arm right here. There it is. Good ball. Let's get it a little down, right? Here we go. Punch. One, two, three. Reset. Climb up. There it is. Good throw. Good throw. Eyes downfield. Punch. Climb up. There it is. Good throw. Let's go other side. Good ball. Good ball. Lean your receiver upfield, right? This way you almost threw that touchdown in the game, right? Uh, he got what he was he was pushed out of bounds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a nice throw. And you took the hit right after, right? Because mm -hmm. you followed through with that hip. Punch. One, two, three. Reset climb. Ah. There it is. A little bit more in front, right? Now what happens if that DB's in front of me? You can put it on the back shoulder, right? You can hit him with the back shoulder. You can turn him around. 
But this one, let's just say our tight end or our slot receiver, he burned it, he got past the linebackers, right? And he split the safeties. Two mm -hmm. splitting it right down the middle of the seam. Get that a little higher. Money. Money. Look left. Confirm the safety over there. Climb up. There it is. Good ball. Good ball. One high, one high safety. It's cover one, cover three. Middle field's closed, right? Middle field's closed. What do we got to do with that? Either put a back shoulder or throw it the next. We don't want it, yep, because the middle field's closed. We don't want to cover up in the middle. So if we have those seams, like you're saying, either doing it the back shoulder or fading him outside, right? As long as it's not, you know, cover three and the corners are dropping, right? Yes. Cover one, you hit that seam all day, right? Fade him towards the sideline, let him keep running, right? Yes, sir. Let's do a couple more of those. Oh, we're down. Let's do it. Is that Tampa? Oh yeah, I was I was kind of waiting for that one too. Yeah, let's do it. today and we're going to honor Coach Rob Delfino okay. for just a great season that you had and we're going to actually give him your um, your jersey. back there? Yeah. I didn't bring it here when he passed away because I thought that would be too much on you. There was one more. Huh? There was one more. Yeah. You know why, right? In the logo. What team is that? Adrian? Yeah. How does her name look familiar? Which one? Alvarez. The Patriots. And the quarterback. You good? Yeah. 
years. 